I'm Timo, I'm from the University of Cambridge, I'm in Florian Hollfeller's lab and um, I'm finally a PhD student. I've worked for the last several years on stem cell biology and moving a little bit more into embryonic development by now. So it is sitting in our tissue culture and it's being used as the main instrument there for checking on your cells, for counting your cells, also when you do passaging and so on but also checking on fluorescent levels. Basically, if you have a report line that expresses X, Y, Z as a protein, um, you can always check which the E was quite quickly. You don't have to use a confocal or anything fancy for that. Also for quantifications, because you can, I think on this one, we have even a 2X lens, so you can get a quite big field of view and just do counting on it. It's a semi-automated system, so you can, for example, choose different filter cubes that you want to have imaged, then just press start, and it will do the job for you. You don't have to intervene with it anymore, which is great, because otherwise every time you touch the microscope, there's a danger of you moving your cells around. This system can be directly linked into the network. I mean, we have it into our university network, which is great, because every time you take an image, once you save it, it gets directly uploaded to the server, and it can go back to the office, and the image is right there for post-processing big difference between the old system and the new system. The new system has a way nicer screen. By now I actually almost prefer it for, for example cell counting um, because you have everything on a nice big screen. You can just count each individual cell quite quickly with your counter instead of always looking through the eyes piece. Every time you image on a confocal it takes hours in the end. Uh, here you can just check quite quickly um, on a low magnification if something worked for example even if your staining worked if it's worth it even booking the system. So yeah it's quite nice to have a system that is right in between a regular bright field microscope and a confocal system. Our lab is growing growing so we are roughly 30 people at the moment so we have the new system in the tissue culture and the old FL2 which is still heavily used in, in the main lab area so I would say in our lab everybody uses them. The M5000 is used on an everyday basis just because you have to take care of the cells every day so you need a microscope every day. Well, we are right in this interdisciplinary uh, connection between conventional stem cell biology and microfluidic techniques, for example. And bringing together these two somewhat different fields enabled us to do experiments that we were not able to do before and showed us things that we have never seen before. And then one thing led to the other. And just because we combined these two, we were able to investigate completely different routes of stem cell biology and potentially found some interesting things. Thank you.